All right, I better, I better post, huh? Yeah. An artist is getting ready to show off his latest masterpiece, and you're invited. Sabrina Silva live from Sacramento with more Wide Open Walls. Hey, girl. Catch me in the streets spray painting. You know what? He does a better job than I do, though. David Plath, all the way from England. Hey, how you hey, doing? Hey, what's up? Man, you got this whole mural over here, and this is just one of the murals that you're going to be painting out yeah. here today. But talk to me about this. I mean, there's a message behind it, and we want to get it out there for folks. What's yeah. going on here? Well, firstly, thank you for finishing it for me. Oh, yeah. It's perfect now. <laughs> it's done. Uh <laughs> Guys, I didn't know that I was uh, an artist until today. David Puck told Beautiful. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah what's, what, what's going on here, man? There's a message behind it, right? Yeah, so this is about uh, mental health awareness. That's yeah. the main theme. And it is about capturing the mood of like a pensive melancholy. And that is about the tenant within mental health where we want to accept and be aware of sadness and melancholy and those like seemingly negative emotions in our life because if you push them away if you don't accept them then they grow stronger yeah. so it's a natural part of life and it's something that should be should be understood should be seen and should even be celebrated and we've got it here with the colors and the flowers and the abstractions so yeah and actually we were just talking about this guys because you know what um, this is something that you don't get to see when you go to an art museum. You don't know what's in the back of the mind of the artist. And it's so nice to understand the message behind this because it's so much better than, you know, you get to look at the beautiful painting, but you also get a message. And you know what? You had a crowd come out here while you were painting. How does that make you feel? Tell folks at home what happened. Yeah, there's been people like all day going by and groups of like 30 people on bikes cycling past like one woman bought me lunch from the market down the street what? yeah just like slipped me the gift card up the lift like hey have some lunch I was like, oh. it's been it's been really nice yeah the community has been really supportive and you can tell that it means a lot to them yeah and guys this is all a part of wide open walls happening here in the heart of Sacramento. They are painting these be beautiful murals and turning Sacramento into a colorful and beautiful town. And for you to come out here and paint this, what does it mean to you? Uh, it's great. Like, I lived in Sacramento for a little bit, so this city means a lot to me. It's like my American home. Oh, so, so, <laughs> oh yeah. well, we take you in. We take you in because you know what? You are so phenomenally talented, and we wanted to put this out here. So he is going to actually be painting the other wall over there, and you guys can come on out and check it out all day today. Um, and, yeah, but Tina and Camby, I have a question for you. Yes. Um... What do you think is the most expensive thing that you can find at an antique shop? An antique shop? What do you think would be the most expensive? Well, if I was yeah. there, it would be me, but, um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I Probably a dresser? <laughs> yeah, furniture. Okay, a dresser? Mm-hmm. Okay, furniture. Okay, we're going to find out coming up in the next hour. Okay. Because that's where I'm heading to now. All right. So I'm going to an antique fair, and I'm going to find out the most expensive thing there. Okay. And we'll see if you're right. Sounds Let's good. Let's see if it's a dresser. All right, thank you. <laughs> I all love right, all this wide open walls. People 